And where is Mrs. James? Who knows? She left. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, she just uh, left. Buffalo. No, Buffalo. Hey, hey. Her sister, you know. Sit down. But I haven't called her, you know. She hasn't. Um, I don't have the energy. You haven't asked, but, um, yes. I shot that man this morning, Giardello. Okay, uh, Mr. James, we're gonna have to advise you of your rights. My rights? I have the right to have things as they were three months ago. I play by the rules. I pay my taxes, I come my lawn. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do, right? So I don't deserve to have my son die. Your son is dead? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Why? No one should have a child that dies. Maybe you should tell that to all those big shots. You know, all the legalized drugs give everybody the right to get high on whatever they want. Okay, okay. You've admitted shooting Al Giardello? Yes, I shot him. I wanted to kill him. But hey, why should I expect to be a sharpshooter, you know? And why should I expect my son to go all the way into Baltimore, buy his dope, an OD, right on the street, and his friends? Why? Why did they leave him? Why did they leave him on the street? They just, they just left him there to die. Three months ago to the day. <laughs> This is how you lift this room, you see? Uh, I'm sorry about the doctor, okay? I never meant that. And, um, I meant to shoot the drug dealer who sold my tummy the drugs and that man Giardello because he was trying to legalize drugs. Because that's what I'm trying to stop, you see? I'll shoot whoever says it's okay. I'm just trying to save all those innocent kids. I understand. I... Yeah. You know, I, I don't have any cuffs on me, Frank. You don't need them. He had the gun attached to the camera, which is why no one saw it. It's right here that um, he keeps the camera rolling after he shoots Chi. Although he neglected to turn the cassette into YET. We show this tape in court. Eric Thomas James is done. We got two counts of attempted murder, Giardello and Dr. Williams, 30 years each. Not to mention the spare change he'll pick up for killing the drug dealer. Congratulations. Thanks. I'll need you both to testify. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there. I know how James feels. You gotta stop those that are gonna hurt the innocent. James is a lunatic. It's certifiable. The son gets killed. He's gotta do something. Hey, say, uh, say one of your kids gets hooked on drugs. One of my kids, what? Gets hooked. They wouldn't. Well, just say that they did. They're not going to. It's not going to happen. Case closed. Oh, so you have no sympathy for James, what, for what he's going through? Well, James is trying to lay the blame on G, because in his heart of hearts, he knows that he's responsible for what happens to his kid. Well, I appreciate how he feels. Well, you can appreciate it all you want to, Tim. But there's a line between right and wrong. Yeah, well, you're the expert on that, Frank. Nothing lumpy about you. You know all. The city looks clean tonight. We can't all be you, Frank. I think I want to take my wife out to dinner in the harbor. 
Sometimes you can lose your bearings. Sometimes the line isn't so clear. Of course the line is clear. There's good, there's evil. You never shot anyone, did you? No. No. And you never would. I never had to. I've been lucky. Yeah. The righteous cop. Line's always been clear to you. Not always. Time for one more confession, Frank. Defendant is set free. Confession. <laughs> I killed a man. <laughs> I'm not in the mood, all right? Luke Ryland. He's seen you, detectives. Who? I shot the bastard dead. Good. Um, go to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not pass. Go. No, no, I'm not kidding, Frank. I killed him. Tim, you couldn't kill anybody. Frank, he got off on the technicality. Defendant is set free. The bastard had to die before he went out and he murdered another innocent woman. Don't screw with me. You kill this, uh, whoever? Luke Ryland. Internal cleared you? Frank. I'm saying that I hunted the bastard down, and when I found him, I blew his brains out. I executed him in cold blood. And I'm saying internal rules this is a good shoot? No, no. Internal doesn't know crap about me killing Ryland. So you, you're standing here and you're telling me you killed somebody? Yes. In self-defense? No. Do you stand in there with your weapon and it went off and you don't remember how? Frank. Because guns go off accidentally. It happens all the time. There's no accident. No, I'm saying this is an accident. For you to shoot somebody, it's got to be a mistake. No, it? no, no. It's no mistake. No accident. Tim. Frank, you're a good cop. I'm not a cop anymore. No, no, no. You're always going to be a cop. No, no. I'm a teacher. I teach a civilian. No. I murdered this son of a bitch because he was a predator, Frank. He <laughs> preyed on women. Why, why are you doing this? I put the gun right up to the mother's brain, and I pulled the trigger. Shut up. Just shut up. You put this on me. You son of a bitch. In here, I know that I did right. But for here... So you waited till I came back so you could, um... unload this? Unburden yourself? What's supposed to happen now? You tell me. I'm not bringing you in. No, huh? I'm not a cop. It's not official. Oh, really? Now, what are you gonna do, Frank? Not say a word? You gonna keep my little secret to yourself? Son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You murdered him. I executed him, Frank. Who's the primary? Lewis. You talked to him? No, I came to you first. Who else would I tell, Frank? But did you talk to Lewis? About this case? No. So nobody suspects you to shoot him? No. No, man. I mean, what are they gonna suspect me? Good old Tim Bayless, huh? The Zen detective. Huh. So you You take me in. I'm gonna take you in. Are you wild? No. You'll take me in, Frank. No. Did I take bullet for no, you. No, no, cut it out. Uh, did I take a bullet for I'm you or not, not huh? You. Did I take a bullet for you? I take a bullet for you, and you take a bullet for me. Now that is square business, this Frank. not taking a bullet for you. This is you wanting me to toss your ass in the jackpot. You're confessing to a murder, Tim. Do you understand that? So you want someone else should take me and someone no. else should bust me. Is that no. what you want? No, no, no. Then it has to be you. No, no, no. Frank, no. I thought about eating my gun, and I'm gonna eat that gun right now if you don't do the right thing for me, Frank, for right here. I have no other, no other option, Frank. Please. So you thought about putting a gun to yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you'd be saving my life. I don't know for how long, but for now, at least you would. 